Thank you guys, what is up, and welcome back in the channel, guys. Um, today, guys, we are going to be talking about the Rams signing Allen Robinson to a three year deal. So, uh, yeah, we signed veteran wide receiver Allen Robinson to a three year deal worth $46.5 million per Tom Palacero of the NFL Network report. Robinson is 28 years old, entering his ninth season in the NFL. He previously spent the last four years with the Chicago with the Chicago Bears, catching passes from the likes of Mitch Trubisky, Nick Foles, Andy Dalton, and rookie Justin Fields. Despite not having a franchise quarterback, Robinson was able to amass the yardage total of 1,147 and 1,250 during the 2019-2020 seasons, respectively. He scored seven touchdowns in 2019 and six during 2020. Prior to signing with the Bears during his last stint as a free agent, Robinson started his career with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had his career best season in 2015 with Blake Bortles hauling in 80 receptions, 1,400 yards, and 14 touchdowns. The Rams continue to add weapons to high flying offense. Their signing of Odell Beckham Jr. mid-season 2021 lessened the blow of losing Robert Woods to a season-ending ACL injury, which proves you can never have too many weapons on offense. With that said, it's fair to expect other changes at receiving position for LA. Woods still working his way back from his aforementioned injury, and OBJ is still unsigned as a free agent and dealing with his own rehab uh, of his own ACL tear. Does the signing of Robinson show the coaching staff does not fully trust the development of third-year receiver Van Jefferson and second-year speed star Tutu Atwell, who the Rams, who the Rams picked up in the second round of the 2020 and 2021 drafts? Could either receiver be on the trade block, and what is the likelihood? of the team also retaining Robert Woods for the 2022 season. Nonetheless, it's clear that Matthew Stafford is the best quarterback. Allen Robinson has had the opportunity to play with a veteran receiver uh, and could be dynamic and shot based offense. So, uh, Allen Robinson could be pretty big for us, man. Um, you know, I think he could be pretty big. Uh, for us having him now, um, but the real next question is, are we going to sign, re-sign OBJ, which I think Allen Robinson, you know, I, I don't know if we're going to re-sign OBJ now because we got Allen Robinson, but then again, OBJ's not going to be probably ready to play until November-ish time, so, yeah. But now we're going to look at uh, whether or not the Rams should try and get Zedarius Smith. Um, so uh, we missed out on Von Miller, obviously. And Zedarius Smith re edged on his reported deal with Baltimore Ravens and he had the free agent pool. Um, so he didn't sign with them. So he was killed by the Green Bay Packers prior to the onset of the new league year. Which means he wouldn't count against the Rams in terms of compensatory selection formula. Veteran edge rusher missed nearly all of 2021 regular season after suffering a back injury in Week 1. He returned for the Packers playoff game against the 49ers, recording a sack on Jimmy G. Smith played only a third in defensive snaps against the 49ers, but his appearance in that game would suggest he's near full health now. He started all games. During both the 2019 and 2020 seasons, during 13 and a half and 12 and a half sacks, respectively, he earned Pro Bowl nods for his performances in each of these seasons. At 6'4, 272 pounds, the veteran would give the Rams a bigger body than they currently have on the roster at outside linebacker. The Rams have options to replace Millard Edge defender and have a trio of young players that could be viable internal replacements. Justin Hollers acquired by LA via waiver claim from the Denver Broncos is a great low risk pickup by the Rams. Terrell Lewis is a third year player with all the athleticism and talent needed to be a key contributor, but a lingering knee issue 
With limited and valid better availability, Chris Garrett is a preseason star in 2021. There remains to be seen whether he can keep up his level of play against better competition. So, remains to be seen whether the Rams have interest in signing Smith. However, after missing out on Moore and being left with a glaring hole opposite of Leonard Floyd, it certainly seems like a move we've grown accustomed to general manager Leslie making. So odds are we are going to make some move on some outside linebacker. But um, with that, that is all for today's video, guys. And I will see you guys next time.